guys welcome to this video in this tutorial series we are going to be learning about Django so what is Django in a brief explanation Django is a framework which allows you to build web applications using Python in this tutorial series we are going to be learning on how to render web pages in Django we are going to be covering up user authentication user authentication means logging in and signing up into a site we're also going to be covering up creating of databases and updating databases. And I'm going to be teaching you on how to use web scraping in Django. I'm also going to be covering up a lot of other things that you guys recommend in the comment section. So before we go straight into installation of Django, let me give you some example of some websites, some web applications built with Django. Instagram. Instagram was built with total Django, pure Django. But recently Instagram have received some updates. But when Instagram was newly released, it was built with pure Django. I personally have built a lot of web applications using Django. I built an online dictionary using Django. I built a Bitcoin wallet where users can send and receive Bitcoins using Django. And so on. I also created tutorial courses on my YouTube channel on how to create an online dictionary using Django. How to build a Bitcoin wallet using Django. I have those courses. I'm going to put them in the description below. If you like, you can check them out. So let's dive straight into installing Django. Now I'm on a Mac. As I said, Django is an open source framework. This means it's a Python library. We can easily install it using the pip command. Now to do this, just type pip3 install Django. Now this should tell me requirements already satisfied. That's because I already have it installed on my computer. But if you don't, you should allow that to run and install. Now to check if your Django have installed on your computer, just type Django admin. Okay, it was a typography error. Sorry for that. Let's type Django admin. Now it gives us a bunch of commands. Now if you have this, this is just to check that Django is successfully installed on your computer. But for now, we're going to be using this command called start project. This command is used to create a Django project automatically. You don't need to create any files by yourself. That's what Django is for. It saves you the stress of creating web application from scratch. It handles most of the, some of the backends for you. Now when we use this start project command, it's going to automatically create a Django project which we can use. Now to do this, we're just going to type Django admin start project then you are going to write the name of the project let's just call it my site but before we do this you have to migrate you have to move into the directory of where you want your project to be so for now let me just remove this and then let me go into the desktop into my desktop now since I'm in my desktop once I type this command Django admin start project my site it will automatically create a folder on my desktop let's press enter now you see nothing happen when I press ls I'll see a bunch of folders but when I look down I'll see my site this shows us that it has created a Django project named my site now let's head over to my desktop to cross check let's just minimize this now if we look here you see that it created a folder named my site now let's just open this folder into Visual Studio Code. So I'm just going to click on open folder and I'm going to go to my desktop and look for that folder called my site. Now this is it. I'll just click on open. Now basically this is what a Django project looks like. So let's head over back to our terminal and let's opt into the folder where our site was created. Now we are in my site. Now let's press ls. We should see manage.py and the name of our site. Let's head over back to Visual Studio Code. Now this is the structure of the directory of your project. Now automatically Django creates all these files as I said earlier. When you click on manage.py, you don't want to touch this file. This file is automatically created by Django 
This is what allows your project to run on your local host and also online when hosted. So please don't touch this file. There's nothing you need this file for. So we're just going to cancel that. And then in my site project, in my site folder, I'm going to see five automatically created files. Now what you need are URL.py file and settings.py file. Trust me, you don't need the rest. So just head over to URL.py file. Now what this does is specify URLs. Let's say you go to Instagram.com slash messages. That will show you a bunch of messages. That means your direct messages, the mess your chats, basically. Now what allows those kind of things to run is because you specify the path. You specify the URLs in your URLs of PY file. Now this means is that once a user goes to let's say your name is my site, the name of this project is my site.com slash admin it should take us to this function i know you're not really going to understand what i'm saying now but trust me when we dive straight into the tutorial series you're going to understand but basically urs is for specifying links on your site now let's head over to settings you also don't really want to touch this file but there are some things you need in this file like static adding apps template directory and databases there are a bunch of things you need, but messing up with one code in this file can destroy your project. So please be careful. So let's head over back to our terminal. Now we are going to create a Django app. There is difference between a Django project and a Django app. Let's take for example Facebook.com. Facebook is a project. Then news feed on Facebook is a Facebook app. Let's say messages on Facebook is a Facebook app. And let's say where you see your friend request is a is a Facebook app. Let's say different things under that project is an app. But basically, you don't need to understand this yet as a beginner. When I was a be when I was when I got started with Django, I didn't understand anything with difference within app and project. For now, let's just stick with this project. But in this video, we're going to be creating one app. Now let's say you have a, an e-commerce site where you're selling goods. You want to have an app that shows the products. You are you want to have another app that specifies, let's say, the checkout, the payment, and stuff. So let's just create one app, and we're going to call it my app. So basically, you don't need to understand this yet. It's not rec really recommended. But when you work with larger projects in Django, you know the need for apps. So to do this, we're going to use the Python command. Let's say Python three. Python three manage sorry for the manage.py start up my app now once we do this a new directory is automatically going to create here called my app now let's head over back now we press ls we now see my app it automatically created a directory called my app now we come here you see automatically we have a new directory Called my app. Now let me explain all the files under my app. Basically, what you need are admin.py, models.py, and views.py. Trust me, you don't need the rest. Now in this admin.py, Django has a built-in admin function which allows you admin interface, sorry, which allows you to manage your site from an admin panel. We are also going to dive treat that in the series. And then models, this is used for registering your database in class-based views. I'm also going to explain that in the tutorial series. And then views, this is just for defining the function. Let's, this is where your main code runs. That's what views.py file is about. We're going to treat all this in the series. But for now, let's just stick to creating one app and a project. And I hope you understood all these files I explained. So in the next video, I'm going to be teaching you guys on static files, URL mapping, and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to smash the like button. Please subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you get notified when I release more videos. And having that said, if you have any question, please make sure you drop it down in the comments. I'll be sure to answer your question. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.